Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci. Welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to show you a pedal with a joystick. It's the brand new Wars Audio Melee or Melee. And it's an awesome drive plus reverb pedal with a huge joystick. And this is how it sounds like. Before we get into the details of the pedal, short housekeeping, make sure to check out the description box under the video. You'll find timestamps, my signal chain, um, additional infos, etc. Also my merchandise if you want to get something and make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit thumbs up if you enjoy what you're seeing. So this pedal, the Melee, Melly, uh, whether you're more UK or US kind of English speaker, um, is an ambient pedal. It has a drive circuit and a reverb circuit, and actually, well, three reverb circuits. Uh, we'll talk about all that. Um, it really does a lot, and um, it is really simple to use it, but you have to trigger your own creativity to really benefit from a pedal like this. If you're into shoegaze, if you're into ambient style music, you will instantly love this. But even if you're not, uh, this is something that can open up new possibilities and uh, just open up your eyes really because that mix joystick <laughs> is just so intuitive and such a different experience compared to uh, twisting a couple of knobs or something like that. It It is really, really cool, a lot of fun to use it and I can definitely see this being used by well, guitar players, of course, but also bassists, um, keyboard players, even like beat makers, like, you know, for drum machines and for analog synths and all that kind of stuff. So it really is a lot more than just another pedal. Before I turn on the pedal, let me show you my bypass signal, my clean tone. This is the guitar going into the pedal that's turned off and then going straight into the Rev Dynamis 740 on a clean setting and that goes into the aux box for a 2x12 cabinet simulation and this is how that sounds like. It's very clean. Now this is the pedal.
I literally just went all over the place with the joystick, which is the mix of both the drive and the reverb. So if you go on one axis, up and down, you have more or less drive. And if you go left or right, you have more or less reverb. Uh, now about the reverb, that's really cool. You have three different reverb engines or re reverb types. The, the pink um, LED color shows you a, a normal ambient reverb tone. If you step on both uh, foot switches at the same time, uh, you'll have a yellow one, which is an octave down reverb. And uh, the third one is blue, which is a reversed reverb with some uh yeah some feedback and everything it's it really is a mixture of reverb with some sort of a delay it's really cool let me let me show you the three modes Now, before we talk about the mini toggles uh, on the left side of the pedal, I want to show you the drive sound um, as dry as it gets. So without the reverb, just to, to see what kind of a drive we're talking about. <laughs> So it definitely has some fuzz qualities. It's not a, a fuzz face or whatever, a big muff or anything like that, but it definitely has that woolly, big, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, like a wall of sound kind of fuzz tone uh, or fuzz slash drive tone that is really, really cool. So the, uh, the mini toggles, you have three of them. First one is tone, which doesn't do anything with your guitar tone, your dry tone, it's the tone of the reverb. Okay, so uh, let's stick to the first reverb type, which is the ambient, standard ambient uh, reverb. And I just toggle through the, th the three tone settings for you. The second mini toggle is called DK, and uh, it does exactly that. Uh, on the left side, you have the shortest DK, in the middle, a bit longer, and on the right side, it's as long as it gets.
And the third mini toggle changes the order of the two effects built inside the pedal, the drive and the reverb. Um, if you have the mini toggle to the left, you have the drive first that goes into the reverb. And if you have it to the, to the right, the reverb is first and that goes into the drive, which means that your reverb is going to be overdriven as well and compressed and it's going to duck and do all kinds of weird things, which is something I really like about the pedal. Okay, so it does all kinds of crazy, which is cool, but can you still use it as a sort of subtle reverb, sort of lower gain drive, just in case you need it? I'll put the, the, the drive first, uh, then the reverb, which is less than crazy and messy. Uh, the decay needs to be shorter for sure. Uh, tone, this the left setting is like an in-between kind of thing, so that's cool. And I will go back to the pink setting, which is the least crazy kind of reverb. Yeah, it works, it works. It does the low gain thing. Since it's sort of a, a, a fuzzy drive, I like a little bit more gain than just a standard low gain overdrive amount. Um, Cause it just, I don't know, I can, figure out more licks that fit that sound. Um, but hey, it's of course very subjective. So what are my thoughts on the pedal? I think this is um, a really clear message to the players, like what kind of pedal this is and for which styles it's mainly created for. Um, obviously all the, everything that requires a lot of reverb and all kinds of textures, um, whichever style that is, <laughs> it, this is going to fit really, really well. Um, you can make it, um, somewhat more conventional and more con conservative, which is not always the case with these kind of crazy pedals. Um, it, it does that. It sounds really nice. It has a, a very lush reverb really um for that but honestly i would i would definitely use this as a texture pedal something that 
gives me certain sounds and a lot of those actually because it's not just one reverb type it's three even if you don't play in an ambient or shoegaze band um, you can clearly use this for you know ballads and everything so it really does a lot more than just the shoegaze thing which obviously it does really well because that's what it's made for <laughs> love the design as well the joystick is awesome you can just ignore it live just set it to where you like it and just leave it there it's not too wobbly it's not going to move around just because the stage is moving a little bit from you know jumping around and everything if you don't touch it it stays exactly where you left it uh so it, it really really works well uh, this is not their first pedal wars audio made already um a pedal with two joysticks actually uh so this is you know a smaller ver version of that kind of idea or at least like control um setup um it really works well it's well tested and and um and reliable so i absolutely absolutely like the idea even though it's not the pedal that i would just have a, as an always on pedal because <laughs> you know, i'm just a different kind of player but oh my gosh i can totally see myself playing this thing you know between 10 p.m and 1 a.m <laughs> without realizing that time has passed so yeah there you go let me know in the comments below what you think of the wars audio miley or melly or let me know how you would pronounce it you guys take it easy see you down there in the comments as told and meet you in a next video bye bye